A 6.4 magnitude earthquake in Turkey-Syria border brings more misery for the victims. An earthquake of 6.4 magnitude has struck in the Turkey-Syria border, killing six people and creating a wave of fear among the survivors. This comes two weeks after a devastating earthquake, which the Turkish president Recep Tayyip Erdogan has called disaster of the century which killed more than 47,000 people and left over a million people homeless across two countries. Now, the latest earthquake is likely to further increase the woes of survivors and impede the disaster response and recovery efforts, made more difficult due to the sheer scale of devastation, delayed rescue work, issues of coordination and lack of resources in the rural parts of the country to deal with destruction caused by a massive earthquake. While the Turkish president Recep Tayyip Erdogan has promised to rebuild homes for millions of victims within a year, and the United Nations has appealed for a $1 billion humanitarian assistance fund for Turkey, the scale and economic cost of the disaster is expected to make recovery and rebuilding difficult and long. The latest earthquakes, considered one of the worst disasters in the post-Ottoman history of Turkey, are two of more than 70 earthquakes of 6.5 or higher magnitude recorded in the region since 1990. Turkey is prone to the earthquakes as it sits on two main fault lines, the East Anatolian and the North Anatolian. These fault lines occur as a result of the movement of large portions of the Earth's crust, known as tectonic plates. These fault zones make Turkey one of the most seismically active regions in the world and are a cause of the frequent earthquakes. According to some estimates, the financial cost of the devastating earthquakes is likely to run into tens of billions of dollars, with some analysts suggesting that Turkey would require more than $80 billion to rehabilitate its damaged infrastructure and resettle millions of homeless people in its 11 earthquake-hit provinces in southeast of the country. Now, a runway inflation and a weak economy would make recovery more challenging. Moreover, with the tentative election date of May 2023, some fear the discussion and attention would soon shift to election campaigns and canvassing. I'm Tayyaba Nasar Khan, and this was your Daily Dispatch.